Welcome back to County Line TV. Thanks for clicking. Uh, today we are going to do something that's been done, but not been done very much. So we got a little bit of information that we needed on it. Thankfully for some people that posted in some forums back in like the early 2000s or whatever. But a lot of this is going to be uh, kind of uh, something that not a lot of people have probably seen. We're going to do it. We're gonna put nitrous on an NA13B in this car here. This thing that's, uh, don't get me wrong, it's not the prettiest right now, but it's a project. It's on the way. We got a paint booth, we'll make it look nice. But the thing's pretty cool. You guys have seen it a lot on the channel if you follow. But if you're new here, welcome to the channel. Let's get to work. So what we're starting with today is the Nitrous Express kit that a lot of people run. It's their basic wet shop kit, the ML2000. Comes with a 4AN feed line, a couple of uh, 3AN, um, what's it called? Uh, smaller lines for your uh, fuel and nitrous and stuff. Uh, these are 3AN. The first one I picked up is actually another 4AN. That's your uh, fuel feed. And then it comes with uh, a pair of solenoids. This is the nitrous, the fuel's in there too. And then a bag full of uh, fittings and your uh, nozzle there and some bottle brackets which is where we're gonna start in comes a big baba <clears throat> we just did our back and forth talking about our options and stuff and like uh with this car there's i'll show you the gas tank is right under this portion of the floor so we don't really want to drill through it without dropping the tank and we don't want to drop the tank. So with these nitrous bottles, there's only two ways you can mount it like this, where your uh, nitrous line goes out towards the back with the bottle standing up, or you can do it with the nitrous bottle laying down and the hose going down. So we were going to do it like this, but it's like drill a hole in the tank or whatever. And we thought it'd be cool to go like this, but the uh, harness bar is just a little too far away from the floor. So we decided to do this and mount the bracket holders on the side there. So that was our back and forth and why we're doing what we're doing. He's over there modifying the brackets a little bit right now so that they'll wrap around the uh, strut tower there. And then we'll uh, drill some holes in that. And then it gets to the part where we actually run the nitrous to the motor. Stress test them any. Looks like it worked to me. <laughs> Indeed. He just got the last hole drilled and went ahead and tightened the bottle in there. So that's what we're going to be looking like now. Ignore the rest of the mess in the car. Don't look at all that. He's got to. He's got to clean this thing up. It's been a long-term project, but. Real quick, I'd like to uh, shut the old hatch because the clearance on this is just impeccable. I love it. Look at that. That's sweet. It's got like an inch of clearance, so even if things shake up a little bit, it should be okay. I'd say the next thing we'll do is go ahead and put the bottle nut on and start running the line through the car or under the car or whatever we choose to do. So let's grab the bottle nut here. It's in this bag of goodies. So the bottle nut's actually two pieces that uh, can come apart. And you can tell which one it is in the back because it's got this funny bulb this looking shape on the back. But you pop that in and you thread it on over here. And that's the end of that. And you never take that off because when you go get your bottle filled, they use a 4 a.m. line to fill your bottle. So once this goes on, it stays on for forever. I don't know exactly how long this uh, Dash 4 feed line is, but it's long as hell, and they're usually too long. 
So whenever uh, Justin gets a cage and remounts this bottle somewhere else, we'll probably actually uh, clean up this nitrous kit a little bit by uh, shortening these lines to exactly the length they need to be. And at that point, we'll probably also uh, put a gauge somewhere up there where he can see it. That way he knows when he needs to like swap bottles and stuff like that. But that all kind of comes with the next uh, phase of this car because this phase is kind of a rudimentary setup. The next phase is going to be a lot nicer and have a six point cage and stuff. But, you know, that's how car builds go. Once you start, you're never done. So are we going under the car or through the car? Or? Well, be in the situation right now, I'm saying through the car because I don't want to get under the car. I know all I'm going to do is push it on the lift, but still. I kind of like the idea of the car. All that and whatever. Plus, we got Look how long this is! This is a whole car long right here. <laughs> Dipping. Jesus! So Justin opted to go through the car. Since he has wiring from his relocated battery and stuff, he's going to P-clamp it all together, keep it nice and neat. Once he cleans this car out, it'll look nice and well kept and stuff. This is the P-clamps he's going to use. They're, they're just from Harbor Freight, but they're, uh, they're metal with rubber inserts, so they keep everything from rubbing and getting tore up because you don't want to have to worry about uh, rubbing through a line or rubbing through a wire or shorting something out. You know, you don't want to deal with any of that. So if you use the right stuff the first time, you don't got to worry about it the next time. If there's a next time, which there will be a next time with this car. We just discussed that. But anyway, I I was trying to record this clip a second ago, but I forgot to hit the record button because I'm a pleb. But uh, it was really funny. Nitrous bottle in the middle of me recording, talking about his nitrous setup. So that was uh, that was pretty funny. Not going to lie. I literally just put the camera down from talking about that we decided to go through the car. And the dude's already in the engine bay with it. Nice. <laughs> Boom. Sick. I like that you can come out right behind your engine. Like whenever, like once we uh, get some dash four fittings in, we can really like shorten the line and clean it up and keep it nice and mint looking. We could also just come up here and hit this uh, math box. Just do it right behind the math. That way it doesn't hit the math when it sprays. You gotta do the math and figure it out. <laughs> we'll be right back after this consideration <laughs> so off camera justin just uh put the fuel solenoid together with the 3 a.m line that's going to go to the nozzle and then the 4 a.m line that goes to the t that we have to put in his fuel line which we'll do in just a second and then the nitrous solenoid ready to hook to the line that he just ran through the car so uh let's make something happen with that guy right there He's about to cut it. Yeah, we're fixing to see how much fuel is left in this. Yeah, no, I'm not helping you with the angle, the dangle here. You tell me they actually gave good line on that one. Yee. Gasoline. Dame mas gasolina. Woo, you wouldn't believe how bad that burns cuts. Lord, I need her to guide me in. <clears throat> Oy, there we go. Slight dilemma. Two slight dilemmas. Slight dilemma number one. There's a purge kit here. But uh, in order to run that, we need a T. We just need an eighth NPT T, something you could totally pick up at like a hardware store or Home Depot or something. So, not a big deal, but we need one, and it's like midnight, we don't have one. So, this project's going to have to go into tomorrow. And then, small dilemma number two. Uh, this is 16th NPT, and none of us have a 16th NPT tap. We have 8th NPT, but no 16th. So, we were going to drill and tap that, but the problem is, we ain't got no tap. You ain't got no tap, how are you supposed to tap that? You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to tap that. So, anyway... This project's going to go into tomorrow, but we have, uh, you know, we put the, he put the T in there and he's got the solenoid all hooked up and stuff. We got this solenoid hooked up over here and then 
if we weren't running a purge, we just hook that up and then we'd start wiring stuff. But we're trying to run the purge too. So, and then we're going to do all our wiring at once. We don't want to do wiring and then go back to wiring. So we're not going to wire up uh, the solenoids until we can wire up all three solenoids. Since there's going to be a purge, there's a third solenoid. So anyway, that's a lot of talking. I'm done jaw wagging. We will see you guys tomorrow. The Harbor Freight P-Clamp Kit, by the way, it's a new day, new shirt, whatever. Uh, you know, uh, hit my line if you want one of these. Tell your mom to subscribe. Maybe I'll leave my Instagram in the description below. Anyway, uh, the kits from Harbor Freight, uh, the P-Clamps, they didn't come with quite a big enough one for the fuel and nitrous solenoids. But we'll home to pot, and they happen to have these that are just oh so perfect it's really satisfying when you find a really good like legit way of mounting stuff that's like universal so i just love the fact that those fit so good and they're rubber lined and stuff so they won't ever tear up the solenoid that's just ah, in love with it very satisfying so we're gonna get those mounted up and uh then the last thing we got to do we also got the uh, eighth MPTT that we need to be purge set up. So we can pretty much finish this project minus I had to order a 1 16th NPT tap for the uh, nozzle. Show me, show me the nozzle. That guy, that thread right there, which uh, would you focus please? Um, hello? There you go. That is 16th NPT. We went to Home Depot, Napa, Ace Hardware, and Harbor Freight, and nobody had a kit of taps that came with a 16th MPT or a single 16th MPT tap. So I had to order one and uh, the correct drill size for it and everything. So that'll be here Thursday. It's currently Monday. So this video is gonna kind of probably get finished up and then we'll have to come back, tap it, and then the, it'll be done. But we don't have a full nitrous bottle. Well, we kind of do, but <laughs> we can't really test the car yet anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Anyway, again, with the freaking jaw wagon, I'm done. Let's get some stuff done. I know I done jaw wagged a lot, but listen, I got to explain what we're doing real quick. So you want your purge line to land as close to your nitrous solenoid as possible to get as much air out of it as you can. Even though air is not really the problem with a purge, it's really bottle pressure. But uh, also, I, like when I put a fresh bottle on, I like to give it a little spritz on the purge to get any air out of the line that is in there. So we're going to take this fitting out. We're going to put a T right here, and then off of the T is going to be on the feed side of the solenoid for the nitrous. Uh, we're going to put a T right there for the purge. That way, it's at the end of the line. Now I'm done jaw wagging. I hate my life. Trevor, you're, you're stressing me out, Trevor. I'm stressing me out, so don't worry. Swear to God, you fuck up one time. Well, trust me, I won't. I do this for a living all the time. See? Money. See them going in there is the only yell bat. The only one that fits. Tell you That's that. the one you put in there. I mean, my brain's telling me. <laughs> my brain's telling me only one of them fits. <laughs> anyway, sorry I didn't do the measurements. There. Bob's your uncle. I don't know what that means. I don't know what Bob's your uncle do you guys know what the hell he means when he says now Bob's your uncle? Because I have no idea. I'm clueless. But anyway, uh, now that we got this situation going, this side goes to the engine, this goes to the uh, nitrous feed, and this side goes to the purge. Thanks. Come again. Thank you. Come again. There you go. I'm just going to block it with my fat arms in. It doesn't matter, babe. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna have to find a find some music to do this video with, please. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> Good old seventies porn stuff.
Or maybe I'll just let the let the, <laughs> let the audio play because we said some real dumb <laughs> this time. Got to realize the sexual tension in the room. Tighten these bolts up. Toy. Like a toy gun. Toy, toy. That's like you didn't watch movies. How the hell do you know these movie references? What? Toy like a tiger is from Austin Powers Golden Amber. Is it really? It is. I don't know. I just a lot of people say it. I thought it was just like a thing. Okay. Nice catch. That's on camera too. Yeah. Remember kids. Birth control first. I thought I was gonna be slick and uh, go ahead and ordered some Dash 4 AM fittings because all the stuff leading up to the solenoids is Dash 4, but turns out the fittings are Dash 4, but the line is different than regular like Dash 4 line that you put fittings on because the Dash 4 fittings I got don't fit. So I guess we're gonna order some more Dash 4 line I also just ordered a tap today, so like our plumbing stuff isn't going to be able to be done until at least this weekend. It's Monday right now, so we've got some time before this next weekend, but I was really hoping to get the plumbing part of it done today and then just wait on that tap to put that in the intake and then we could do the wiring for another video. It's going to be like a part one, part two setup. But now the plumbing part's not going to be able to be done for a while, and neither is the freaking wiring because we're still waiting on a window switch because I don't think that it's a good idea to drift without a window switch because you're doing full throttle like at different times in the rev range and stuff, and it's just, I don't think it's really safe to run nitrous without a window switch for drifting, so we're waiting on those. They're supposed to be here like tomorrow or, win or uh, Wednesday, one of the two. The tap's supposed to be here Thursday. I guess this is going to be a next weekend thing. We'll see you then. All right, it's been like three days or four days or something like that. It's been a while, but we got some A in line that's actually Dash 4. Look, I got to show you guys this, all right? Listen, so the Dash 4 fittings that are like hydraulic crimped onto the line or whatever, they use a much smaller line. Look at this in comparison. Sheesh. That's you. This is a guy she tells you not to worry about. Anyway, <laughs> um... So the, we were trying to put Dash 4 AM fittings online that just simply wasn't Dash 4 AM. So I don't know what they use there, but it's a little different. But now we have the stuff to make our own lines that are going to be right, even though they'll just be a little larger in diameter than what the kit usually comes with, but that's okay. I don't care. So we got that. We also got uh, somewhere on my cart here next to my, uh, next to my goodies there. We got... Uh, this which is this was controlling our entire lives and it's just a small little thing that fits in a box and i don't have you on a tripod or anything right now so i gotta like find a creative way to set you down hey that works so anyway this right here was controlling our entire lives not having this but it came in we have it now we're good to go this guy also uh i'm proud of him while i was at work this week he kind of did most of a uh, electric power steering kit by himself. His high pressure line's on. He's about to do his return line. And then we just got to land like three wires and he'll have power steering again, which is key because drifting without power steering sucks. Well, folks, it took me a while to make this line. I'm not going to lie, but I made it. And voila. The purge is plumb. He's gonna mount this somewhere right about here, and he's gonna manipulate this hard line to go out one of the vents on his hood. So I'm just gonna leave that like that. He can deal with that. He can also tighten it up. It's not tight on either end. But again, that's for that's for him to do. All right. So the last thing we have to do to polish off plumbing this uh, nitrous kit, and then we have to wire it. But to finish off plumbing it, we gotta tap the hole there has been put here so it's got a pilot hole already that he drilled before and now we're just gonna which for anyone wondering uh that's a 
size D drill bit. She wants the, the D. Uh, <laughs> that's what you got to drill for a 1 16th 27 pipe tap. Never forget to uh, chamfer your hole before you drill if you can. Big shout out to uh, Kramer for hooking me up with a good set of chamfers. And always use some lubricant. You never want to go in raw. Oh yeah, I tapped that. <laughs> so uh, that's what she's looking like. Completely plumbed up. We're in the intake. We go around to our solenoids. This, uh, before this solenoid tees off and goes over here to the purge, which just needs a mount and then wired up. So don't worry about the fact that it's floppy right now. It won't be. But, uh, you know, before the fuel solenoid comes up and taps into the fuel line right before the regulator, our nitrous line goes back through the car back there. And that just, uh, that, that wraps things up. So, hope you like this episode. Uh, stay tuned to the next one so we can wire it up. And I doubt we do testing in the wiring video, but there will probably be a dedicated video after that just to testing. Because when we test it, we are also going to do a little bit of a, like rudimentary tuning. Uh, the car's on a factory computer or whatever. But we have an aftermarket um, adjustable fuel pressure regulator and lots of jets. Uh, we have tons and tons of jets for nitrous and fuel. So we're going to make sure this thing, we're going to throw a wide band on it and make sure this thing is nice and happy. And just maybe a hair on the rich side while she's got nitrous flowing. That way it'll be good and safe and make nice big rotary flames just like we all love so we'll see you on the next one don't forget to tell your mom to subscribe